So this is an extension video to explore the triple angle formula. Uh, we've got the double angle formula here. So the triple angles are involved with sine 3x, cosine 3x, and tan 3x. Okay? Now, the idea is to get sine 3x just in terms of sine x, cosine 3x just in terms of cosine x, and tan 3x just in terms of tan x. Okay? So that's what we're going to try and do. So, with sine of 3x, what you can do is you can use the compound angle formula, okay, up here, to split this into sine of x plus 2x. So this is sine of x, cosine uh, 2x, rather. Then we've got plus cosine x, sine of 2x. OK, now we've got the sine x, we've then got cosine 2x, and we just want things in terms of sine x, so I'll choose the 1 minus 2 sine squared as the replacement. Plus cosine x times sine of 2x, which is 2 sine x cosine x. So multiplying through, we're getting sine x, take away 2 sine cubed x, plus... 2 sine x cosine squared x. Now we want to get rid of the cosine squared by replacing that with 1 minus sine squared. So sine x take 2 sine cubed x plus 2 sine x take away 2 sine cubed x. So we've got sine x plus 2 sine x, so 3 sine x. Take away 2 sine cubed, take away 2 sine cubed, so take away 4 sine cubed x. And so we have our first triple angle formula. Okay? So um, what, what good would this be? Um, what could you use it for? Well, just as we've used the double angle formula to integrate uh, sine squared, you could use this to integrate sine cubed. So if you wanted to integrate sine cubed, rearrange this formula, and then you've got something quite easy to integrate. OK? So that's sine of 3x. So we're going to use a similar tactic for cosine. 3x. So cosine 3x using the dub, uh, compound angle formula. So cosine of x plus 2x. So cosine x, cosine 2x, take away sine x, sine 2x. Okay, so cosine x. Now we're going to replace cosine 2x with just in terms of cosine, so 2 cosine squared minus 1. Oh, rather subtract. Uh, we've got the sine x and we're replacing the two, sine 2x with 2 sine x cosine x. So multiply through 2 cosine cubed x, take away cosine x, take away 2 sine squared cosine x. Replace the sine squared with 1 minus cosine squared. Multiply through. Oh, see I've lost. I've missed a term out. Got to be careful. Uh, what have we got here? Minus 2 times 1 times cosine x plus 2 cosine cubed x. So we've got 2 cosine cubed plus 2 cosine cubed, so 4 cosine cubed x. Take away 3 cosine x. And so that is the triple angle formula for uh, cosine. Once again, you could use that to integrate cosine cubed. OK? That would be your method. Right, last one then. Tan 3x. So 
So tan of 3x would be tan of x plus 2x. OK, so we will have tan of x um, plus tan of 2x over 1 minus tan x tan 2x. OK, so I'm going to have fractions within fractions here. So I'm going to have tan x plus tan 2x, 2 tan x over 1 minus tan squared, divided by 1 take away tan x times 2 tan x over 1 minus tan squared. OK, well, I've currently got it all in terms of tan. Um, this isn't a particularly nice formula to work with, though. So I'm going to multiply top and bottom of the fraction by 1 minus tan squared. So multiplying this by 1 minus tan squared would get me 1, oh, sorry, 1 lot of tan, uh, take away tan cubed. So that's multiplying that by 1 minus tan squared, plus 2 tan x left over here. 1 times 1 minus tan squared. Take away tan x times 2 tan x, so 2 tan squared x. So we've got tan x plus 2 tan x, so 3 tan x. Take away tan cubed x over 1 minus 3 tan squared x. Okay, um, so I mean, looking at that, there's not there's not a whole lot you could really do with the tan three x formula. Um, it's pretty mucky, uh, so it's not really something you would use for integration purposes. Because just rearranging this to get tan cubed, you'll get something really messy, um, which would be very tricky to integrate. OK, uh, so it's use. These two are useful. They have their uses. This one, not so much.